one of the most interesting things that we observed was as privacy professionals and AI governance professionals started to wrap their arms around AI governance, they realized that this isn't a new problem. This has actually been around for years and there's so much AI coming both through third parties and in development in their in their organizations. And so that's why this was a prediction last year, because we saw that this was already happening and there's going to be potentially some mainstream event and, and that happened. The quarterbacks of the actual AI governance process usually are coming from either privacy, ethics or security. And um, we're probably seeing privacy being most involved in that. Um, but there is a broader uh, impact than just privacy when you look at AI governance. And so it's um, forcing that entire profession to up-level and upskill. So for example, IAPP launched an entire I, uh, AI governance center and AI certification to upskill that industry. Companies are realizing that tr trust is everyone's responsibility and it's all towards driving business outcomes. That's the big shift. It's not towards the compliance outcomes, it's towards competitive differentiation, agility, innovation, um, you know, furthering diversity goals and, and productivity goals. These are all things that are being linked to these trust initiatives. I think there are lots of different stakeholders. Like no, number one, we're seeing boards like audit committees, for example, adding this to their charter and, and broadening the concept of risk to really being the concept of, of trust more holistically. And looking to executives to to form a more cohesive story, not present a different privacy report, security report, ethics report, but to really look more holistically. Um, we're seeing a lot of uh, marketing programs starting to really focus on, on trust as an outcome and, and as a trust building initiative. We're also seeing, I mean, ultimately the CEO is accountable as well. You're seeing activism in the industry. You're seeing pressure, uh, active right now, pressure on university presidents and CEOs to resign because of different opinions and, and trust. I think this is going to really start cascading to so many different parts of the organization. And it's going to be so clear that trust is everyone's, um, everyone's opportunity, ultimately.